now I'm with the uh, winemaker enologist at uh, Quinta do Crasco. My name is uh, Manuel Lobo, and uh, well, I'm here at. Uh, at Quinta do Crasto, I'm responsible for the winemaking here. I'm from Portugal, but uh, I'm not uh, original from here. I'm uh, from the south of Portugal. It's a wine region too. It's a uh, uh, Ribatejo. It's a very interesting region too. But uh, the Douro, it's quite deep as a as a wine region, and it's uh, it's very challenging to be here. And it's a mm. great opportunity to be here. So let, let's talk a bit about the winemaking. How do you make the wines here? We're sitting on the lagar <laughs> exactly uh, empty uh, it's not it's harvest empty, yeah. well it was, it was just handed harvest it was uh, uh, online harvest we were very happy with the wines it was very interesting harvest very challenging but uh, the result is looking good so talking a little bit about the wine making it um, it's crashed uh, there's not a lot of big secrets uh, around that uh, it's mainly we have a very practical philosophy of, of doing wines. Uh, we believe on uh, high quality grapes, so great respect for the vineyard, for the viticulture techniques. And um, what we aim is to produce uh, very special grapes that can produce uh, different uh, and high quality wines. Mm -hmm. Uh, basically, we believe on our traditional varieties, so Portuguese varieties. And um, at the winery, each year it's a different... Uh, we don't have a recipe, so uh, it's, a, it's a different challenge. And, uh, and that's the passion of it. We, we measure the quality of the grapes each year, and then we, we define what we are going to do with it, with, 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 uh, with those grapes. Now we walked through the uh, winery a little bit earlier and it was a very modern, very well equipped winery. At the same time we're sitting on a lagarge here with, uh, well it's not with real feet but still with mechanical feet. So are you traditional or modern or a bit uh, of both? Or? I think it's, uh, it's about common sense. Uh, we we like to be on the on the we like to again to respect the fruit and if if uh, if we need to be a little bit modern to respect the fruit great mm -hmm. uh, but there are some uh, very interesting techniques mm -hmm. on the old times that uh, they were they they existed because some reasons yes. and if the reasons are good and if the result is very good why not to adapt them and to and to use them, so and that's the port wine. That so we we were being sitting here at the at the lagars. The lagars are very old, but they have some uh, uh, two or three new things that uh, are very important on the final results of the port. But this is what you use for the port wines only, or do you do only use for the ports? Right. Well, we do. We can trade. Uh, with uh, with with our men, yes. we can trade some uh, specific table wines, and normally the top wines. Yeah. We do that. We we do a trading. We put the grapes in. We do a trading, and then we pump into modern inox tanks with temperature control. And what everything. difference does it make if you extract in a lagars or in a stainless steel tank with pumping over or with pillage? Uh, it's 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 very interesting that question because uh, the difference it's uh, it's very important and that's mm -hmm. that's why we we have the trouble and the the effort of doing this mm -hmm. um, if we have a uh, the, if the grapes are mature the tannins are very mature and we if you don't have green uh, tannins to extract and the, in the and if the flavors are are there and the and the berries are look very good. So we can do a very high extraction since on the beginning of the of the receival of the grapes, and the best extraction that we can do is with a is with a man. We've uh, we've experimented all the all the extraction uh, techniques, the modern techniques, and the the feet of the, our man. I don't know if it is only a crashed, but uh, uh, the result is very good because you can have a very strong extraction, mm -hmm. but um, in a very soft way. So you respect a lot the fruit. And uh, by using the, the, the robots, you have a good extraction, but at the same time, uh, 
you can have uh, too much extraction. Imagine like if you if you put a robot working and if you squeeze a seed, mm -hmm. it will just damage the seeds the seed and it will extract all the tenants that are not interested. So you you were talking about the robot and you're using the robot, but you're also using uh, but we, real feet. Yes, okay. but we use a robot in, in a in a in a different stage. The first uh, the first trading is always done by the man. And uh, imagine a man with a, with a, uh, 80 kilograms trying to to squeeze a, a seed. He can't do it. And if you put a uh, a machine with a 80 kilograms uh, pr uh, pressure, you squeeze it immediately. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, it's very difficult to, to do a machine that, that that does the same work as the man. But so that's why in port wine we use always the man to do the first trading, and afterwards we do the, we use the machine just to keep to punch down the keep cap. Keep it uh, under the water, or of under, under not the, the uh, water, but the water, no, but yeah. Uh, yeah, the 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 juice no. and the wine juice. There is one other question I must ask you because you're doing a collaboration with the Frenchman uh, Jean-Michel Caz. Yes. So you're doing a wine together with him here in uh, the port wine region or in the Dora region. Mm -hmm. What kind of wine is that? Well, first, what's it called? Well, the, the, that's uh, Shisto, Shisto Ruketikas. Mm -hmm. So Ruketikas, it's a joint venture between the family Ruket, owners of Krasht, and uh, Jean-Michel Caz, that it's the family Caz, owner of uh, Lynch Bage and mm -hmm. several chateaus in France. Mm -hmm. And it's a uh, it's a great uh, relationship because uh, it's I think it's very useful for both sides because Jean Michel Caz uh, is a big is a big friend of Georges Kitts, the owner of um, of Crush, and uh, they decided to produce the wine together. And for that, uh, they decided to do the wine should be made here in Crasto because it's a it's a Portuguese wine with a, a Portuguese uh, traditional varieties. But they decided to let's try to do a wine with a, a French technology, mm -hmm. okay? And uh, that's why we have the opportunity to work with uh, one of. Uh, so uh, what is, what is different in the technology? Well, the main difference is, uh, uh, for example, uh, uh, there are lots of differences, but uh, uh, one 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 big difference is the the maceration time right. uh, of the um, of the uh, of the wine. So yes. the skins, the con the skin contact with the wine in uh, in the shish to Ruketikas can go until 26 days. And uh, at compared crashed, to uh, compared to crash, so we can go maximum eight, nine, nine days, no more. Oh, okay. So totally different styles. So what difference does that give in the wines then? Um, gives a lot of a lot of differences because our idea in the in the in the French uh, uh, vinification style is to extract. Uh, a lot because mm -hmm. we we extend the maceration process, but in a very soft way. So the way that we work the wine during fermentation, it's totally different. We do a lot of delastage, uh, delastage for well, mm -hmm. rack and return mm -hmm. in, in English, and uh, so we try to extract, but in a very smooth and soft way. Right. In crash too, no, we we try to to have more. Uh, um, more uh, wines that can show a lot of fruit on the upfront uh, nose and uh, a big palate and also with a big persistence. Mm. So those are wines that uh, they, they show a lot since the beginning. And Shishukitikaz, uh, it's a wine that uh, takes time to, to show the potential in, in bottle mm -hmm. and uh, aims for a lot of elegance. So mm. it's uh, well, it's it's different styles. You need to taste it to to feel the difference. That's the best way. But it's certainly the best way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you.